From midnight tonight, viewers in the Scottish borders served by the Selkirk transmitter and its relays will experience TV outages for several hours, while the final switchover from analogue to digital broadcasting takes place in that area. Digital satellite and cable viewers will be unaffected. After the switch is complete, viewers in that area will need to retune any Freeview, BT Vision or top-up TV equipment. We're sorry for the interruption to services, but this work is a necessary part of the process of switching to digital transmission. Next on BBC One Wales, the true story of a man who built a record-breaking bike out of washing machine bits. No, really, but that's for digital viewers only, because we've come to the end of the line for analogue TV in Wales. To continue watching BBC One Wales, please switch to your digital service. This is BBC One Wales on analogue, and in just a moment, it's being turned off, along with all the remaining analogue channels, forever. This will complete digital switchover in Wales, making us the first digital TV nation in the UK. Tomorrow you will need to retune your digital equipment again to pick up additional channels. If you need more information, you can call Digital UK on 08456 50 50 50. Lines are open from 6am or you can visit digitaluk.co.uk. And that really is it for analogue television in Wales. Engineers are standing by to pull the plugs as we reach another Welsh broadcasting landmark. Please switch to your digital service to continue watching BBC One Wales. But from everyone here at BBC Cymru Wales, goodbye to analogue television. In past times, for many of those living in the deep south, this was a fish guilty as charged, one that should be eradicated from all rivers and lakes. So they, they took it really seriously, and, you know, like the whole business of like, clear these things out of the water. They, you know, they're an abomination. They're not fit to sort of share the planet with us. They obviously look guilty. with a 200 volt electric net to kill the fish. Over the next three decades, millions of gar were destroyed in an effort to be rid of them forever. This is my rip, look at that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Now the end of an era. After more than 75 years, BBC Television will cease broadcasting to London on analog. The BBC's Director General Mark Thompson is standing by to switch off the Crystal Palace transmitter. From that moment, all television in London will be digital only. So, one last time, from the capital's analog viewers, this is BBC One. Worthy of any kind of repast, Representative Pinkney. Be assured you'd have heard from me hours ago. Who? Mr. Tappan. Lewis Tappan. Yeah. I must see him. I'm required to see him. No, of course not, sir. You request an audience. Give me a hand. Oh, you request it. Yeah.
One Northern Ireland, where our programmes will continue in a few moments, unless you're watching on analogue television. The final stage of digital switchover is about to get underway. In a few moments, we'll be turning off this and all remaining analogue channels forever, and overnight turning on the remaining new high power Freeview transmitters. This will mean there will be disruption to some services on Freeview through the night, and you may need to rejoin your TV or set top box tomorrow. Satellite and cable viewers are not affected. If you or someone you know needs help or advice with switching to digital or with retuning, you can contact Digital UK on 08456 50 50 50 from 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Calls cost up to 5 pence per minute for most landlines, so calls to robots may cost considerably more. You can also visit the website at digitaluk.co.uk, which has information on how to retune. Analog television has seen many technological advances and additions since the days of Baird and Marconi. From 405 line black and white to 625 line colour, the introduction of the CFAX, the world's first teletext system, and my cab stereo to name just a few. The move to digital television will allow technology to advance still further, providing even more services. And so from tomorrow morning, BBC One Northern Ireland will be available in high definition on Freeview, satellite and cable. Now, though, we enter a new era of broadcasting, as this becomes a fully digital UK. From the analogue BBC television service, good night and goodbye. the digital dawn. For tomorrow we'll also have BBC One North Ireland HD. But for tonight, getting back to business, it's time to join the Golden Oldies. And a little bit of television history was made in Northern Ireland last night when it became the last part of the UK to switch off its analogue signal. It means everyone here is now only able to watch TV digitally, as Julie McCulloch reports. This was the moment the new digital age began, when just before midnight, Dame Mary Peters switched off Northern Ireland's analogue transmitter at Divis in Belfast. To mark the occasion, there was a special programme broadcast simultaneously on the BBC and UTV, highlighting what are considered to be some of the best moments in Northern Ireland television over the past 60 years. Phenomenon. <laughs> Switching to digital has been the biggest change to TV since the move from black and white to colour. It has also meant an end to 38 years of CFAX. For people who do need some help with the switchover process, there are a number of advice points across Northern Ireland today and tomorrow.